Well, good morning, everybody. I think it's still morning. It's getting close to noon. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in, there we go, dark California. Um, it's actually a beautiful sunny day. Um, yeah, how do I explain what's happened over the past 24 hours? So I have a, uh, some vendors. They're good guys. They, they generally do really good work. I really like the guys. Um, had them come in and do the switch swap. The same one I showed you on the conference room switch. I updated the switch and uh, you know, pulled the old unsupported one out, put the new supported one in. And this, this one didn't make it to the closet cleanup portion of it, but that's okay. I told them, don't, don't worry about that. Just make everything work. Um, this mask down. So, what happened was, they, um, you know, put this way so you can see this, this thing while I'm talking. What happened was they, they did the swap. Everything looked good to them. All There were phones up and the switch was communicating. And then they bailed and went, out, went to the next uh, job site that they were going to do for me. Uh, which happened to be in a basement of another building. So, okay, fine. About that time, I get a call from uh, the on-call guy. He says, um, let me brace the phone up here so I don't shake it. Um, he, he says, uh, well, we're getting complaints that the, uh, the phones aren't working. These phones in this area. Okay, so I VPN in from home, get on the network, and I get onto this switch to try to check it, and it's down. Oh, crap, and then it came back up. Oh, okay, cool. So I jump in there, check the ports. Tons of CRC errors on this fiber port down here that had this fiber cable on it. It's OM1. It's old orange stuff. It's, it's pretty old. Um, so lots of uh, port errors on that one. So I told him, tell you what, just do your best to get a microfiber cloth, just, you know, clean the ends of the fiber, put it back in. So he did that. We watched the uh, switch, the port, receive errors is what we were getting. Um, watched the errors, I got, and CRCs. We were getting both, sorry. So I watched the uh, port, I saw one CRC, and then no receive, no transmit errors. Okay, good. 30 minutes later, same thing. Okay, I told him, okay, I think we're good, but I want, don't want you to do the next thing tonight. I want you to, um, you know, just let's keep this as it is and, and watch it. And, um, you know, what, what I just said there actually took about, it happened over the course of about three hours because he was very slow to respond. So um, that, <laughs> that quick description took about three hours. And then the last hour was monitoring this. So we monitored it for about an hour and uh, total, and it looked pretty good. So he says, well, I'm, I'm going home. I said, okay, sounds good. I'll, uh, I'll take a look at it in the morning. So go to sleep, feeling good. Said, okay, we got, we got time. Get up, check my laptop. Try to get onto the switch. Can't get onto the switch. Great. So uh, I finally, I dial in, I check my intermapper, which you've seen, and this switch is incommunicado. Uh, it was offline. Okay, great. Grab everything, jump in the truck, run down here, and uh, I grab the fiber, polish it on my shirt, plug it back in, boom, it's up. Stays up for about 30 minutes. Okay, good, I got breathing room. At which time, <laughs> at which time I started planning to move to the OM4 cable, OM4, OM4 fiber that was put in by our engineering department last year. So I started doing all the plans for that. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I'm fuzzy headed from only getting, you know, four hours sleep. Um, I find some open ports on our core switch. I go to set everything up. And what we do is we span, we'll, we'll set up some ports on uh, the core switch that's in the data center, and then we'll set up the same ports on the core switch in the M in MDF in our basement. So I get them all set up, and then all of a sudden, our MRI machine goes offline. Okay, what I do? And so I look. The ports I had selected were indeed open. They were saying they were going to be used for a switch that we hadn't migrated yet. I checked the other ports. They said the same thing. 
But oddly enough, those ports showed a status of up up. Uh, what? Turns out, hmm, we plugged our MRI trailer into that into those set of ports and never updated the port aliases. Um, so then, okay, scramble. I got to put all that back. Select new ports and plug the new fibers in and see if it works. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to be sort of smart. I'm going to tone out these fibers first. Plug the first one in, plug the second one in. I said, I'm going to start with the second fiber just for no reason. Plug the laser light in. No laser at this end. So I'll run back down to the data center. Move the laser pointer over to port one. Put it on. Okay, there. Good. We got it. Then I found, identified some ports that were not used on either core switch one or core switch three, which is down in the data, down in the MDF. All four ports were open. Okay, good. I set those up. Okay, great. That's what we're using. So anyway, um, finally got that all set up. I plugged the first port in. Pulled the old orange one out. I actually pulled the old orange one out first. Plugged that port in, and bada bing we were back in business and it was it was kind of nice because we went from our old kludgy um, we have a switch that's just got a tons of switches plugged into it it's not fabric at all it's just layer two this this switch here it's a stack stack of two is now participating or it's a participating in fabric attach which means um, it's plugged into our cores basically plugged directly into the fabric so, there's no fabric here on the edge ports, but there is on the uplink ports. It gets, gets that far. So all of that took about three hours. So finally at about 8 o'clock, 8.30, my boss rolls in and says, Hey, you need some help? i like, no, finally got it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we finally got that. And then I went and got the other port set up and plugged this one in. So we went from a 1 gig OM1 fiber to 20 gigs worth of OM4 fiber. And um, that was my Wednesday. So, um, and the Easter eggs keep coming. There's another problem they gave me that I still haven't figured out. There's a um, little 12 port version of this switch that's uh, over in another building across the campus. Um, that's where they were going to go work. They started taking that apart, and I told them, stop, put everything back together, and get back over here to this building. Um, and there's a switch in there that's still not working. Luckily, it's just a tr little training room and nobody's using it today, so. Yeah, I'm tired, I'm headed home. So anyway, um, yeah, so that was, the, that was the adventure with these, these switches here. So I gotta come back and, and dress, dress at least these up and label them and all that good stuff. I gotta label stuff on the core ports, the core switch, and uh, yeah, oh boy, what a day. So there you go. That's 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 what's happening this week. So we'll, we'll call that an issue of the week. How about that? And uh, when I get the uh, the other switch ironed out, I'll probably do another video on that. What the cause of that was. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell. And I keep those comments and suggestions and prayer requests and everything coming. It's great. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, just, uh, you know, I, I answer, I try to answer at least minimally weekly, but I'm trying to do it more often. I'm trying to, trying to be better. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys. God bless, and we'll catch you next time.